Great Places Seen GPS has a second channel for shorter bonus videos from the main channel episodes. Subscribe to both for free so you don't miss out. The Grand Design Serenova 160LG is a smidge over 20 feet long with a gross vehicle weight of 5,400 pounds. It features an impressive front bay window, dual 20-pound propane tanks, and an electric jack, ample cargo space in the rear, a nice awning. Inside is well appointed. The rear has windows all around. The bed is at window height, so you may want to close those shades when you're there. They pull up from the bottom so you can have a little privacy and a view. Cabinet doors have strong hinges. The dry bath has a small pull-down sink above the commode, across from a skylit shower. Very modest counter space thanks to a single induction stovetop and small sink. The refrigerator is the opposite. Large double door capacity with an ample lower freezer drawer. You'll likely spend most of your time enjoying the view while eating, working, or socializing at the U-shaped dinette. The Imagine AIM 16ML by Grand Design is a basic 20-foot trailer with mid-quality build. You really get a sense of space in this one. A Furion 2 burner stove and microwave. A separate refrigerator and freezer. I really like drawer style freezers the best. That's what I have at home and I think they work really well on the road. It's easier I think to get things out of a drawer freezer. Decent storage space above and below. Small jackknife sofa. Decent sized dry bath with ample room at the commode. Nice lighting rounds out a solid mid-range trailer. Go back in time with the Gulfstream Vintage Cruiser 19 ERD. You know in the old days the model numbers used to indicate size, apparently not now. This one comes in just over 23 feet, but still interesting to see. Many floor plans are available. It does have a 1950s feel to it. Fun of the 50s with the amenities of the 2020s. I think you're easily going to find this refrigerator in the middle of the night. Curved walls in keeping with the theme. An RV queen bed in this one flanked by small wardrobes and overhead storage. A modest dry bath with wood panel decor. Across the hall from the shower is the bathroom. It's a distinct 1950s dinette with 21st century RV controls at the door. The Forest River Aurora Light 13 BHX is 13 feet long. I'm not thrilled when a unit is brought to a show with no specs available there or online but it seems to be a good basic trailer you can take into the backcountry areas. It has an awning. Wired for solar. You can hitch your dog. 
This one sleeps three, or you can convert the bunk area for storage. I can't say that these bunk beds pass the favorite child test. <laughs> oh, somebody's either going to have to swap or not be happy. Just kidding. Modest dry bath. Refrigerator. Microwave. A nice graystone two burner stove. Bottom push-out windows for ventilation. It seems a decent trailer for its size. Coachman's Clipper Cadet 17 CBH is slightly over 20 feet long, just under 4,000 pounds. Average layout and average build quality for essential amenities. While this is a real basic model, it does have a huge Furion freezer and modest refrigerator combination. You're not going to go hungry. Another bunk configured trailer, which is what manufacturers seem to want to display the most at Hershey. It does have a skylit dry bath. At 16 feet in length and 3,725 pounds, the Coachman Clipper 12,000 ROK is very modest. I think the small space isn't used especially well, that's just my opinion. The rear kitchen isn't shown because it was locked. That said, it's very compact and basic, okay if that's all you need. One of the advantages to having a small unit style AC is, if it goes bad, you can easily replace it. And very quickly from their smaller units, well, they grow pretty fast. There is tucked away in here a Salem FSX. The 174 BHLE is one inch over 20 feet, 3,880 pounds. It has decent room, basic amenities, average quality. Bunks may be used for sleeping, and this one makes it easy for storage instead. Interesting, this is a bunk that can fold up. One little wardrobe closet. I like the Greystone two burner stove. Pretty standard refrigerator freezer combo. This has one massive overhead cabinet, but you better be good at being two-handed because you're going to have to hold it up. A Skylit dry bath, good tank sizes, basic unit priced accordingly. The Micro Mini 1720 FB rides a few inches over 20 feet, 5,500 pounds, with Winnebago's usual comfortable upper mid-level quality. Dual axles aimed at a smoother, more stable tow. Solid interior with ample cabinet space. You won't feel claustrophobic sleeping between two windows. 
Adequate dinette with a rounded table to avoid hitting those painful corners. Nice three burner stove. Good sized sink. Microwave. Separate refrigerator freezer. Dry bath with a folding sink in the shower. Overall, very nice. Stepping up to the 1821 FB, slightly longer at 21 feet 3 inches, still 5,500 pounds, and yes, good tank sizes on all models. It's a little roomier, slightly more storage. This one has a slide. Some people like them, others don't. But there's the same Winnebago design, decor, amenities, and quality we've come to expect. You decide on the floor plan best for you. It'll be a decent unit for the money. and an encore from the main video. Winnebago's Micro Mini line has long been a solid favorite. The 1800BH, like the other models, has little tweaks and changes this year, but overall I'm seeing the same rig that has proven itself for the last few years. Amenities are straightforward and thoughtful. Color schemes neutral, but pleasing. Bathroom is basic. Twin bunks with lights and windows. A decent sized sink with half covers that help add counter space. A three burner stove. Winnebago continues to have a solid package whether you're solo or with others. <laughs> 